Hello. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to work with send effects and record. Send effects are effect units hooked up to the effect sends on record's main mixer. This is useful when you want to add the same effect to several audio tracks, and it's often used for reverbs and delays. Let's start with one of the template setups that ship with Record. This one is called Empty Plus Effects. The name kind of hints at what it is, an empty song document with some effects already set up. Effects are usually more fun when you can hear them, so let's import some vocals to try out the effects. This is the lead vocal track from the What A Day demo song what by Tobias Froba. Record has eight effect sends and eight effect returns that are found in the mixer's master to section. To enable an effect send, simply click its on button and adjust the send level to your liking. There is also a pre button which sets the effect send level independently of the channel's volume fader. We're now listening to the plate reverb, which is very useful for vocals. The room reverb adds just a little room feel to the sound. The tape echo effect emulates the tape echo effect units from the era of bell bottoms and sideburns. Finally, a simple, straightforward delay unit. To tweak the effect settings, just hit the edit button in the effects return section and the rack will scroll to and highlight the effect unit in question. Here you can change the settings as you like, or load a completely new patch. To create a new send effect, just right click in the effect return section and select create send effect. Let's create another RV7000 reverb. And this one we'll use to create an old fashioned spring reverb sound. I'm going out. I'm going out. Hey, another one for the bell bottom crowd. Bet you were expecting some uh, famous celebrity, huh? Um, the hat wasn't my idea. They made me wear this. Could you, um, maybe send effects and record? Easy as that. <laughs> 